Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Did you ever have a situation where your near or dear one had to be admitted in a hospital for the brain operation? Well, if you did that in a government hospital or in a medical college, maybe it was not so expensive. But if you did that in a private corporate hospital, I'm sure it was heavy on your pocket, right? Well, we did discuss about it partially in one of our previous video. But in this video, let's look at it in a great detail. Let's look at the possible reasons why neurosurgical treatment is slightly more expensive compared to the treatment of other commonly occurring illness. To begin with, let's look at the diagnosis that is finding out what exactly is wrong. Obviously, the brain is inside this skull which is made up of bone, right? So there's no way one can find out what's wrong inside just by touching it, right? Unlike in abdomen where a lot of diagnosis is made mere by palpation that is by just touching. So to make a diagnosis or to find out what's wrong, a lot of imaging studies are required like CT scan, MRI scan, CT angio, MRI angio, etc. Now these CT or MRI machines are really really expensive worth a few crores so if a hospital has to get these tests done on you using these very expensive instruments they will have to charge you hefty amounts a neurosurgical operation theater will require a lot of equipment which are really expensive costing in few crores to start with to reach the brain one has to cut open the skull which is done by a high speed drill which may cost anywhere between 20 to 50 lakhs depending on the quality. Most of the neurosurgical operations are done under the microscope that is micro neurosurgery. These operating microscopes vary in price somewhere around 20 lakhs to 4 crore depending on the quality. Well if not the microscope some of the operations may be done using an endoscope. An endoscope is equally expensive costing somewhere around 40 to 50 lakhs for the entire set. For the safe removal of tumors in the brain and spinal cord, we use an instrument called as CUSA or Cavitron Ultrasonic Surgical Aspirator. These, this equipment costs somewhere around 20 to 50 lakhs, again depending on the quality. To increase the surgical safety, we use an instrument called as Neuro Navigation or Image Guidance. This instrument helps us in reaching the exact location inside the brain with no or minimum damage to the surrounding structures. It basically guides us, it acts as a Google map. This neuro navigation instrument costs somewhere around 2 crores only. For almost all the spine operations, we need an instrument called as Image Intensifier or CR, which costs minimum of 20 lakhs. In few of the advanced spine centers, they have another advanced instrument called as OAM, which costs somewhere around 4 to 5 crores. All these equipments will also have a regular maintenance cost for service or for repair in case of breakdown. Well, you may be thinking that this amount that is invested on this equipment will be recovered after a particular duration of time, right? No, that's not the case. Because by the time the amount is recovered, it is time for upgradation because every four to five years, new instrument, new equipment comes with increased safety for the patient so it's again time for investing and mind you there's absolutely no subsidy for corporate private hospitals made beyond equipments electricity or anything for that matter in addition to all these every case will have a lot of consumables like the drill beds or other things which are primarily used to minimize the blood loss like a gel foam a surgery cell cell saver or flow seal or t-seal glue etc now obviously these things also will eventually add up to patients well most of the conditions which require brain operation will warrant close monitoring in the post-op period in the icu it might be for a short time or it might be for a long time and during the icu stay patient may have multiple other complications like chest infections or pneumonia high grade fever DVT etc. Now these complications will only prolong the ICU stay, the hospital stay and increase the ultimate bill of the patient. Once the patient is out of the ICU and in the ward, 
he may have a few of residual problems like difficulty in walking difficulty in speaking etc and he or she may require period of physiotherapy and rehabilitation which will also add to the cost of treatment so because of all these reasons brain surgery may seem a little expensive compared to other medical conditions well it may not be so in case if it is done in a government hospital or a medical college as the rates may be subsidized in these centers but it is definitely so in case of a private corporate hospital so these were a few important information about the cost of brain surgery in private corporate hospitals i hope you found this video informative if so give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and for more such informative videos subscribe to this channel thank you for watching